apparently slipped and fell into some live electrical wires. Now, the man had been called to the corner of Jefferson and California to repair those power lines. KCAL 9 Serene Branson is live with those late breaking details at this hour. Serene. And Jeff, this really is so sad. You know, these are the people that do a very dangerous job. They keep the lights on for us. They keep the power going. I just spoke with a man who says that his wife called Edison about 3 o'clock this afternoon saying they did not have power. He did not want to go on camera, but he told me they then watched that man climb one of the power poles, and they say he later slipped it, appeared, and fell on a line and was hanging there for about 40 minutes until they could de-energize those lines and safely get him down. Unfortunately, he did not make it. If you look behind me, you can still see a lot of activity here. The sheriff's department, SCE crews, all trying to determine exactly what went so wrong. All the guys were there around him trying to get him down. Edison guys were very responsive and very sad, and it was very emotional. Talking through tears, residents of this Paramount neighborhood say they saw the SCE utility worker after he climbed to the top of this power pole him hanging there and everybody trying to get him down. Veronica Guzman said power was out at at least one home as the storm blew through. Neighbors say it appeared that the worker slipped and fell on a line. Edison received a service-related call around 520, and the troublemen, as they're called, went out to work on the power. SCE spokesman Steve Conroy stating what happened, but said they're prepared for all kinds of weather conditions. So they go through a lot of different training, uh, their equipment, their, what they wear, how they, what they wear uh, changes out, but they are, they're, they're highly, highly trained, highly skilled. Uh, they know what their job is. They know how to stay safe. Uh, again, uh, the investigation is underway. Uh, we don't know what happened. We just don't know. Coworkers raced to the scene. The tragedy hit the SCE family hard. He is one of the Edison family. Obviously, we're um, heartbroken this evening. And that spokesperson said that they are not releasing the name of the employee just yet, that family members are still being notified. But right now, their focus remains on supporting the family and coworkers of this employee. Jeff and Andrea. Yeah, now, Serene, what happens next for those investigators to try to determine exactly what happened here? Well, Southern California Edison will be conducting their own internal investigation, but I'm also told that the Public Utility Commission, as well as Cal OSHA, will be investigating. There is actually uh, an investigator from Cal OSHA already here on the scene taking a look into what went wrong. All right, Serene, what a tragic story.